Discovery.com. Outer space, NASA, spaceships. This is awesome times we live in. I love building rockets with my 3D printer. I love shooting these up on 4th of July. The rockets we make actually has a hole in the back that will receive a SD rocket engine, and then there's a little uh, printed hole right here so you can put it onto the launch pad and launch it. I get really excited about 4th of July. I love shooting rockets off. I love fireworks. I love America. Uh, what better, coolest thing than NASA? So you're in an International Space Station and you don't have a wrench you need. And you happen to need a wrench that's this size, a ratchet. And the ratchet only needs to tighten. So it's not a really complex part. So somebody down here on Earth sat down with their CAD program and drew this in one piece so it can be printed in one piece. We printed two of these out. I mean, you really have to think about that. How cool is it? I have something that's in outer space now. I have a wrench that went to outer space. Well, the STL file, technically. So I went to NASA's website. I downloaded the STL file. I brought it up on our Gorilla Maker printer. I printed both these out. Printed one out in white, one out in red. The thing I found very um, uh, puzzling was if you look at the red one, and then you look at the white one, we printed these at exactly the same resolution. Just this happens to be white ABS, and this is red ABS. The white did not print out as well. All the settings were exactly the same. So that particular uh, pr uh, printing filament we did buy from a different company. Uh, that leads me to the quality of filament. Do you know how high of a quality or low of a quality you have? Uh, what that led us to do is each time that we print something like this now, we'll print a test block or a circle or uh, a test print, and we'll print it out of the new material that we buy and rate it, and then we'll know if we ever want to buy that again. If we don't want to sell off of our website an inferior product like this. We don't want that to happen. So we test all of our filaments in-house before we put them on the website to be sold. This ratchet is very clever. It go, it tightens, and once I printed it, I, I must admit, it took me a little bit to break this, uh, the ratchet nose apart. Uh, I put a wrench on it, I turned it counterclockwise, I found it to go, uh, found it to get to go uh, moving around. And the thing that really surprised me is how tight this assembly is. I can't really hold this, it's, it's, to move it, it's really difficult. So the bottom line is, if you're in outer space and you can't find a hardware store, please have somebody email me a wrench. It's an amazing thought. You're in outer space and you need something to super specialize. I mean, can you really bring everything with you? So think if you had a wrench that was this long and you needed one this long, and you have to somehow cannibalize the wrench, and the next time a space shuttle comes up to the International Space Station, you have to reorder the large wrench. So that's um, very unnecessary if you can just print it out, just like a replicator. The nice thing, the, the part that uh, gives me the most satisfaction is, you know, when I'm thinking about when I was a child and I was watching Star Trek, if Scotty needed a wrench like this, he went over to the replicator and got one. I never thought I'd live in the days and time that someone could simply email a part and I could print it out. I'm Glenn Warner, GorillaMaker.com. Think bigger, think professional, and always unleash your gorilla.